Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differentiation. And if I talk about the question here, we have been given in the question that f of x is x squared plus g dash of 1 into x plus g double dash of 2. So we have been given this idea. And we have also been given g of x in terms of f that is f of 1 into x square plus x into f dash of x plus f double dash of x. So these are the two functions f of x and g of x given to me. And we have been asked to calculate the difference between f of 4 and g of 4. And there are four options given to us. 10, 12, 14 and 16. So these are the four options. We need to figure out which of the following four options is the correct one here. And we have taken this question from JWE mains 2023. So we are taking this question from this differentiation. And let's see how do we solve this question. So the first step, if I apply here to solve the question, I know f of x is x squared plus g dash of 1 into x plus g double dash of 2. Now once I see g dash of 1 and g double dash of 2, I know putting x equal to 1 and putting x equal to 2 in g dash of x and g double dash of x, you're getting g dash of 1 and g double dash of 2. So basically these two values which are there are constant terms. And since they are constant terms, I can just put g dash of 1 as a and g double dash of 2 as b. Once I put that, f of x becomes x squared plus ax plus so i get this idea now if i just differentiate it once again f dash of x becomes x plus a and f double dash of x becomes 2 into derivative of x which is 1 plus a is derivative is 0 because it's constant so you get the derivative double derivative as 2 here you have f dash of x and you have f double dash of x also with you now let's just substitute these ideas in g of x. So g of x, if I write it, it is given to us as f of 1 x square plus x into f dash of x plus f double dash of x. Now we already know x into f dash of x. We already now have calculated 2x plus a plus f double dash of x. We also know it is 2. Now, if I just find out f of 1 also for this g of x, the first term, which is f of 1, let's find that out. We already know f of x is given by x squared plus ax plus b. So, in that, once I have f of x here, if I need f of 1, I'm just putting x equal to 1. So, if I put x equal to 1, 1 squared plus a into 1 plus b. a plus b plus 1 is f of 1. So you get this a plus b plus 1 is your value of f of 1. So you have g of x equal to a plus b plus 1 x squared plus 2x squared plus ax plus 1. Now if in x squared if I take out this x squared common I get a plus b plus 1 plus 2 plus ax plus 2. So you get this a plus b plus 3 x squared plus ax plus 2. So this is your entire function g of x. Now if I differentiate it with respect to x, g dash of x becomes a plus b plus 3 into 2x plus a. So this is your g dash of x and if I differentiate it with respect to x again, I get g double dash of x that is a plus b plus into 2 because derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of a that is 0. So you get g double dash of x also. Now instead of x if I put 1 again I get g dash of 1 as a plus b plus 3 
a to 2 into 1 which is 2 plus a so g dash of 1 is this entire thing and if i put x as 2 g double dash of 2 becomes 2 times a plus b plus because that g double dash of x is independent of x so whatever value of x you put the g double dash of x is going to be the same now if i use the idea for which we use the substitution we put g dash of 1 not g dash of x we put g dash of 1 in the previous page if i see put g dash of 1 as a and g double dash of 2 as b so if i put g dash of 1 as a and g double dash of 2 as b i'll get two equations in terms of a and b if i solve those two simultaneously i'll get the values of a and b so from here i understand 2 times a plus b plus 3 plus a is equal to b so a and a gets cancelled and becomes zero so you get 2 times a plus b plus 3 is equal to zero so a plus b plus 3 becomes 0 by 2 which is zero a plus b in this case becomes minus 3. That's your first equation. Second equation, if I try to solve it, 2 times a plus b plus 3 is equal to b. That gives you 2a plus 2b plus 6 is equal to b. So 2a plus b is equal to minus 6. That's your second equation. Once you have the two equations, you just need to solve them simultaneously. So if I try to solve it simultaneously, 2a plus b becomes minus 6. a plus b becomes minus 3. Subtracting both sides. This gets cancelled. A is minus 6 plus 3 minus 3. If I put a as minus 3, b becomes minus 3 minus a, which is minus 3 plus 3. That is 0. So from here, you understand b is 0. Once you have a as minus 3 and b as 0, we just substitute that in f of x that gives you the function f of x now we had f of x as x square plus e x plus b so if i substitute an x square plus minus 3x plus 0 so f of x becomes x square minus 3x here i need to find f of 4 so if i just find f of 4 putting x equal to 4 so 4 square minus 3 into 4 16 minus 12 that is 4. so i get f of 4's value that comes out to become 4. now let's find g of x also in terms of x so g of x we know f of 1 into x square plus x into f dash of x plus f double dash of x first let's find f of 1 so in f of x if i put x equal to 1 here f of 1 turns out 1 square minus 3 into 1 so 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. So that makes it minus 2 x squared. x, f dash of x here becomes 2x plus a. So 2x plus a means 2x and minus 3 because a is minus 3. And f double dash of x becomes 2. So that gives you minus 2x squared plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. This gets cancelled. This gives you minus 3x plus 2. That is your g of x. Once you get g of x, just substitute x as 4. That gives you minus 3 into 4 plus 2, which is minus 12 plus 2, which is minus 3. Now, once you have g of 4 also, that is minus 10. Just find the value of the difference of f of 4 and g of 4, which is asked to do. f of 4 is 4 minus minus 10. So 4 plus 10, which is 4. So you find the difference of f of 4 and g of 4, and that comes out to be 15. So that is the answer for the question which is presented to us here. And the answer for the question is option C. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question, which deals with differentiation. So we just need to substitute g dash of 1 and g dash double dash of 2 as a and b because those are constant values once we figure out that we get f of x f of 1 f dash of x and f double dash of x if i substitute that here i got g of x in terms of a and b also once we substituted that and equated that with a and b 
I got two linear equations to solve for A and B that gave us two values of A as minus three and B as zero. And once we got that, we got f of x in terms of x that gave us f of four. We also got g of x in terms of x that gave us g of four. Then we just calculated the difference and it gave us the correct answer as option C. I hope you have understood how to solve this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as JW. So stay tuned for more videos to come out. Also do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of questions on 11, 12, as well as Thank you.